Okay, so this is a challenge called tab tab attack. So this is um this is going to get us used to using the tab autocomplete uh, inside of the Linux terminal. So before we uh, before we tackle this challenge, let's go back to our web shell and set up our challenge environment. So we're going to go back to our original directory, which we can do by doing the cd tilde command. So see, so the tilde is usually to to the left of the one key on the keyboard. So it's and it's also the shifted version of it. So if you do the the regular version of the key, it's going to be the backtick, and if you do the shifted version, it's going to be the tilde. So cd tilde is going to send you to the home directory for your user. So after you do that, we print the present working directory, and then we're back in slash home slash um, your username over here. So we backed out of the super SSH directory that we created, and we're going to create another new directory. Okay, so let's uh, let's make a new directory, and the this directory is called this um, challenge is called tab tab attack. So I'm just going to make a directory called tab tab, and then we're going to enter the directory using the cd command cd tab tab. And then pwd, we see that we're in the tab tab directory. And that is how we set up our challenge environment. So after that's done, we can go back to the challenge. And in the tab tab attack challenge here, it says using tab, tab complete in the terminal will add years to your life, especially when dealing with long rambling directory structures and file names. Okay, so it also come uh, this challenge also comes with um with a link to a file. So what you can do is you can copy this link by right clicking on it and then clicking on the copy file copy link address option over here. So click on that and that's going to copy the link to this file. We're going to use Linux to download the file. So I'll show you how we can download the file using Linux. So after you've copied it go back to your web shell, and then we're going to use the wget command to download the file. So the command is wget, and then space, and then we're going to paste in the, the file location. So when we paste in this file location, uh, you see it's to, the file location is this really long URL over here, and uh, this really long name as a zip file. So just hit enter and it's going to download the file. Okay, so wget is a very useful uh, tool for downloading files on Linux systems. So you just need to use wget and then provide a link to a file and then you can download the file. So inside of the output here, it's saving to this name.zip and it downloads the file very quickly and then it says this file has been saved. So if you do ls, you see that the file is in our current directory and we should be in our tab tab directory. So we're in this directory right here. So to unzip the file, we can just use the unzip command and then ad start off the, uh, the name of the file and then we can tab autocomplete the rest of the name. So after you've typed in the first um, letter or two, you can just hit the tab key and it's going to autocomplete the name. So this is the um, this is the order of the day for this particular challenge. Hit enter, and it's going to unzip these files into these other um, into these other directories. So it's creating directories within directories within directories, and then it goes um, about eight or nine directories deep. So what we have to understand here is that typing in the names of these directories to get to the flag is going to be a big pain in the butt if we don't use tab autocomplete. But because we can use tab autocomplete, we can get this done very quickly. Okay, so first we're going to cd into a, d, and then tab autocomplete. And then we're inside of this directory, so we ls, and then we see this other directory, and then we can cd into that one with the tab autocomplete. 
and then we ls again and we see this other one and we can tab auto complete into that one and then ls and then this next one tab auto complete again and then tab auto complete on this next one and then tab auto complete on this next one and then tab auto complete on this next one. So um, if anybody is uh, confused about what we're doing, please type in the chat that you don't understand. Or if you want us to go slower, uh, please uh, let us know in the chat so we can go slower. Uh, too fast. Uh, well, um, okay. So what we're what we're what I'm trying what we're doing here is we're going into different directories, and the directories are very long names, and we're trying to. Uh, we're trying to use tab autocomplete to 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 access the directories without having to type out the the names manually. Okay, so after after we've gone through all of these different directories, and we can see here that we're in the tab tab, this directory, and this directory, and this directory, and this directory, and all these other ones. So there's this last file right here, and this is not a directory. This is a this is a file. And we can tell inside of the inside of the web shell because uh, it's a green it's a green name and not a blue name. So if we do ls la to list out the uh, the files in a list format, we see here that this is not a directory. So in in Linux, if you do ls l ls la, then you will see that. Um, for directories, there's going to be a D beside the uh, the file permissions over here, but for regular files, there's no D. So that's all you need to know about um, differentiating the, between files and directories. So here, all we need to do is we need to cat this out. So it's cat and then begin the file and then hit tab. It's auto complete, and then hit enter. And it seems like. There is a bunch of there's a bunch of stuff here. This is not this is not a regular file. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to clear my terminal. So if any time uh, your your terminal becomes cluttered, you can do you can use the clear command to to clear the terminal, and that's going to clear everything from the uh, from the terminal and send you back up to the top. Okay, so this is um, this is an executable file, and we can tell it's an executable file because there's an X over here when we do ls uh, ls dash la uh, to run executable files. You just need to you just need to type in the name of the file. So it would be f, and then oh sorry sorry, you need to do dash dot slash. So dot slash to refer to the current directory, and then start the name of the file, and then tab autocomplete. So this is going to run the file as opposed to reading the file. So we're going to execute the file, and um, this file is going to give us the flag. So to execute the file, do dot slash, and then the name of the file, and then hit enter. And then it uh, gives us the flag right here. So this um, this file at the end is not a, a readable file, but it's an executable file. Um, just something something that uh, we probably would have learned in the in the next workshop. Okay, so please copy the flag over here. Um, so just copy the flag over here, and then we're going to go back to our PicoCTF challenge page. So tab tab attack inside of um, inside of the challenge description. Click into the challenge uh, flag submission field and then paste in the flag and click on submit flag. And then it says, hooray, you earned points. That's great. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to the challenge so we can upvote it. So we're going to click on, we're going to go back to the challenge and then we're going to click on upvote to show our appreciation for the challenge makers. Hey there, Hacker Frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. 
just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.